So let's uh, let's draw another pepper, shall we? And so uh, we can go red or green. I think I'm going to go. I think I'm going to go red here on that. And so I'm trying to put it in a place where I can see it a little better. There we go. Maybe. Okay, so let's let's look at this red pepper and try and get it drawn in here. And so let's start out the same way we did on that other one. Let's go for the height. How tall is it? So in looking at it in comparison to this pepper, it's, it's pretty tall. So let's say that it's about this tall. Okay, and so that's the height that I'm going to go to. That's actually, let's, let's bring it down. That was a little bit exaggerated. That was too tall. Let's say that it's about right there. That was going to be a huge pepper. And then when it comes down, the bottom of it, I'm looking here, and it's pretty close to this um, this diagonal line down here. So it's it's got to be about about in here somewhere. It probably corresponds pretty close to the the bottom of this other pepper, uh, maybe a little bit higher. So we're going to say that it's about that. That's our about our, our approximate height. Now it comes pretty close to this guy right over here, as I'm looking at it. And, and so the, the wide part is about in here someplace, right about where it crosses that line, which means that, that this is probably too far this way, that the very top is probably going to be more in here and more over here, like that. And then the width, how wide it is, if I'm looking at this width here, that's how wide my pepper is, and, and they're about the same width. This one is a little bit smaller in width, and so I'm just going to take my pencil and put it like that and say that it's going to be about that wide. And so we know that now that's our, our, our width from there to there. Our height is, is right in here somewhere, and then the bottom is in this area here. And so now that I have that area mapped out, I can kind of, I could fill it in a little bit more and, and make it into a square just lightly like this and I know that my 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 peppers got to fit inside there somewhere and so I'm looking at it on the line here and I know this one kind of comes down at an angle like that it does have a rounded top but this part comes down at an angle and then once it gets down here it kind of rounds down it's pretty rounded on this side here as it comes in the middle. And then there's a, this one has kind of some bumps on the bottom. This one just had a little bit of a thing. This one, now these are a little bit more pronounced. Where this part comes down here a little bit more. And then it goes up at an angle about like that, about halfway. And then once it comes up, it rounds in like this and has a blob. And then, and then it has up like this and then it flattens out and then it comes up and has another blob like that. Then this part is going to stick out a little bit and then this part has another one. The peppers have always have kind of like three bumps on top. There's like a bump there, there's a bump there, and then there's a bump here like that. And then there's a little bit of a, of a space back behind it too, a little bit. And then as we go around, there's one bump here. How many bumps I'm going to make? I'm going to make one, two, and then three again. And so here we have a little bump there. And then we have another little bump there. Like that. And then we have another bump kind of coming around the corner. And then this one sticks out a, a little bit and then comes back in like that. So there's our bumps on the top of that pepper. And so now I'm going to come back in and I'm going to erase the, the parts that I don't need anymore. 
right? Some of these initial guidelines I put in there, I can take those out. And then we, we don't see that line going across the middle. And so there's kind of the outline shape of our pepper. Looks like this could probably be a little more rounded instead of straight, like that. This one, this bump is a little bit too pronounced. It's a little bit shallower like that. And then we have the piece coming out. Make that a little wider so we can see it. And then this one comes down like those. And so there's the outline of our, our pepper. Let's go ahead. This one has a little shorty stem right in here. And so it comes up like that. And then it has a little bit of an oval top like this. And so there's the stem for our red pepper. And so there's a little bit of our outline for the red pepper. Now let's go ahead and put in some of our value shapes. Um, those are these, these darker areas that we have in here. And so I'm looking at it and I'm seeing the one main dark shape is this one that comes up like this, right? This is not the dark S shape, but there's that's a, a big division like that. And, and it comes over. And if you don't get this shape exactly right, that is okay because the, the shape police are not going to come and arrest you. And then comes here and then there's a bulge out like this. And there's this funky little triangle thing right in the middle there, huh? And then it's going to come back down in like this. And so there's that major dark shape right here. And there, yeah, there's another little shape. Once we get that big one in there, we can start to put some of these other little guys in there. There's a little dark shape right there. Right underneath this triangle, there's a light triangle right here, right? This little piece like that. And we see that there's there's kind of a light area right here. Right here. And so let's let's do a, just take them one piece at a time. There's a little rectangle up here, right? So there's this is a, now a light area. And so that's a lighter area, right? And we're just going to work our way down. Once we come under here, there's a little bit of a light, almost light line area that kind of comes here, down like this. And then there's another little piece on top of it, like that. Over to the side, we see another little bit of a light area here. Now there's a big light area. I'm just going to treat this whole big area here. And the cool thing about it is it's going to follow kind of the lines of, of everything and then it's going to come around over here to this side and it's going to follow that line and then it's going to come down here all the way down to the bottom almost and then round up. I need to come in here and go like that a little more. And then it's going to take up this area there. And so it just fits right inside there like kind of like a glove. And so there's that value shape. Now within this, there are some lighter areas that we can we can draw in if you like. We will eventually kind of leave them there, but there are some lighter areas of reflected light. So these could be like little white areas or light, light, light pink areas like that. Almost has like a little face, right? And there's like an eye and an eye and a nose and that sort of thing. So an eye, an eye, and a nose. And so that's that's the value shapes for the red pepper. That's cool. <laughs>